Hello guys, so welcome to KO Tutorials. So let's continue with the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So as you can see over here, we have almost done with the lighting of this particular exhibition stall over here. So let's go into this. Let's go into the render setup <coughs> and let's do some render settings over here. So very first of all, what I'll be doing over here is like, let's go into the V-Ray render settings over here. Let's set the type as bucket over here. Let's increase the go over here, go into the image filter. Let's set it to Catmull room. We can set it to V-Ray Lensos filter or we can set it to Catmull room also. We can keep any of it. Let's go over here. I can slightly increase the subdivisions over here. Go into this, go into global DMC and I'll reduce the noise threshold to 0.001 use local subdivisions let's go into the material editor and let's on the subdivisions over here let's go into this go into the modes go into the slate material editor Into that, let's go into this. So we can increase the subdivision of few of the things if required. So I can just make it to 16. But increasing the subdivisions is going to increase the render time. You have to make sure. So we can uh, increase its subdivisions, not for all, but few of the things we can just increase it. So you won't see any kind of anti-aliasing or we can say you won't see any kind of jittering over here. So let's go into this. Let's just increase its subdivisions wherever it is required. So wherever we have assigned this, we can just increase it. Alright, so we will not increase for this books area, we will keep it as it is, so slightly increase this uh, subdivisions for the other part. So let's again go into the render settings, let's go into the environment. So although we have already given a V-Ray HDRI map, you can just check the HDRI map it is correct or not. We will keep this, let's just save the file once over here. And if you just on this, you will see that it's going to render it. And if you on this reflection and refraction, you will see a change. Okay, you see that it's going to be black. So let's just off this, go into the color mapping. I'll keep it as HSV exponential for now. Go into the GI. Let's make it as iridance map. The secondary is light cache. Let's go into this. We'll, like, we'll on this refractive GI caustics, reflective GI caustics go down over here into the iridance map. Keep this as medium. For now, you can keep it as medium if you're going to render with high animation or camera animation or stuff. You can just increase it. Uh, you can make it very high. So let's uh, increase the subdivisions to 160 by 60 over here for now go down light cache 
I'll increase it to 2000 over here. Go into the settings, go into this and let's increase this to 4000 so that's your RAM dynamic memory limit and let's again go back uh, to the camera view let's just save your file once over here so we can just uh, view image file and just open the reference over here So we don't have any kind of a uh, curtain stuff. So if you need, uh, we can slightly just shuffle it over here if required. Curtain part, we can increase this, push it till here if needed. And let's go into rendering and let's render it and see once how it's going to look like. Okay, you can slightly increase the intensity of the sun, so the intensity of sun looks very less over here. So let's select this. So I'll just make it to 0 0.08. Alright. This looks much better now. If required, we can put the curtains or else if not required, we can just remove that stuff. You can just save your file once. Now, you can just render it once. So you can just see and render it. If any changes are required, we can do the changes. We also assign some lights over here if you can see. Some basic fill lights. render and if you want to add some volume fog or something we can just add that to over here so that is possible I think we have already added a volume fog, just let me check, no, not added, can just go into this and again go over here, atmospheric apparatus and let's take a box over here, so I am just going to go over here and let's add a box over here, now I will slightly just resize it. If needed, if you just want it for the whole stuff, you can add it for the whole stuff also. So let's go into this. We can make the changes according to our needs over here. Go to VRA environmental fog, go into the setup, make it as VRA exposure control, go over here, 
uh, we have one option that's your form height first I'll just remove this remove it increase the fog height so let's add this gizmo let's add this light so once you added this let's go over here so now if you see this we have one more thing uh, I'll just go into this and I'll just make it shutter speed we can just reduce it and go over here let's change the fog color and increase the fog distance so you can increase or decrease the distance subdivisions I can increase over here max steps I'll make it as 500 So you can see what we have uh, added over here that can be seen over here. So we can do that easily over here whenever it is required. So as you can see we need to work with this very environmental fog settings over here. We can increase decrease the fog. I can increase the subdivisions over here. can see that you can add a bit of fog over here I will just reduce this let's save the file once let's render it again alright so guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here so we'll finalize this tutorial in the coming video so please like and subscribe my youtube channel so thanks for watching this tutorial